I'm Jackie Doidge with ODNS, and today we're going to give you a demonstration of dry needling of the supraspinatus. In the article by Osborne and Gatt, he, they give us some excellent evidence of the use of dry needling with uh, practitioners who are treating athletes on the field or the court. And uh, one thing that we'll see for sure is that dry needling lends itself so well to practitioners who are doing this work. You can get everything you need with dry needling in a little fishing box um, with everything there and you will be given one of these boxes when you first come to do a course with us. And once uh, you have prepared your patient, let's have a look at how we do dry ne needling for the supraspinatus. Your palpation is important. There are always some dangers to look for here. You have the apex of the lung, you're walking around that. You have your spine of scapula and you know that, that your supraspinatus is right in that fossa. Aiming toward the fossa, down you go, looking for that tension and that nice twitch. There it is. When the, when the needle is relaxed, the tissue is no longer gripping, out it comes and you've done dry needling of the supraspinatus. So treating these elite athletes, you definitely can do uh, uh, using dry needling uh, right at the time you can you can create uh, relief of that muscle activation pattern so that people who are lifting their arms over their head will suddenly be able to do so again without the impingement caused by that trigger point which is causing supraspinatus to be weak and tight. <laughs>